Yes, my people, them. CFC, Realist Blue, back with another video and it's match preview settings for the Leicester City versus Chelsea match in the Premier League tomorrow. Kickoff is at 12.30 on match day 12 at the King Power Stadium. But join my watch along from about 11.30 and we can discuss the start in 11. I can get my reaction as the game goes on. But in the meantime, you guys, comment your score predictions down below. The winners will get a shout out in the review. And just thank you for all your support and all the content. Make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new Chelsea content from me, my people damn. But I hope you all have a wonderful Friday. And now let's get into the preview. We're going to start with some team news slash injury news. And this is what Leicester City's injuries are saying. So Pat Sendaka is out. Jakub Stolarek, he's out with a foot injury. Chowdhury's out. Deco Dover reads out, Ricardo Pereira, he's out, and Abdul Fatahou, he's out. Not to mention Buen Noti for Leicester, he had two yellow cards, so he's going to be missing this match because he's on the suspension. So they're going to be without a lot of players for this game, and this should definitely make it a lot easier for Chelsea to win because we have been doing much better away from home than at home this season, and Leicester City. They are a newly promoted team. We shouldn't be losing to any team that has been newly promoted. I know Leicester, you guys have won a Premier League title. You even beat us in the FA Cup final. But, hey man, that is the past. And I'm not going to lie. We just need to get this W. Must, must get this W. But that is their injury slash team news. And um, now to talk about Chelsea's team news. And this is what Enzo Resco had to say in his press conference yesterday. These are some quotes. So, we have for sure just one injured player, and that is Reese. unfortunately. He felt something small, and we do not want to take a risk with him at the weekend. He is the only one for sure who is not available for the weekend. The rest, some of them are better, and some of them are a doubt. Plus, we need to wait because today is the first session we do with all of the players from international duty. So we will see after today's session. And yeah, man, that's what you have to say on the team news. And Reese James is our only injury. No one else is suspended. No one else is injured. And if you don't see any guys in the, in the squad, it just been left out. So mm. that's just how it's going to go. And to be honest with you, I can't lie, man. I can't even lie. We're calm in terms of team news. Like we're not gonna have many injuries apart from Reese and this is the big draw. I did a I did a video on this yesterday and I'm just not gonna lie, man. This is just so jarring, especially because Reese James came out with a statement and he's basically indicating that we might not even be able to see him until after the Christmas break or until after Christmas because he said enjoy the festive period. So I don't even know when Reese James will be back, but if we're going to be honest, any time he has been injured, it has never been for just one game or two games. It's always been at least a month. So it's going to be longer than that at this point. But yeah, man, that's the only injury. And it's just jarring, man, because he's our captain, but he's hardly ever available. And in these run of games where we're going to be playing a lot of the Smaller teams are going to be playing and they're going to be set up in a low block. Having a player like Reese would have been much needed, but sadly, it won't be the case. So I just hope you have a speedy recovery, Reese James. Get back to full fitness as soon as possible. And just please, I just hope there's no more injuries because if there is, then some uncomfortable conversations will need to be had. But we'll just have to wait and see how the season plays out because there's still many, many games that we can play. And as long as you play most of them, then that will be calm. But that's just my thoughts on the Reese James injury. You can check out the news update from yesterday as well. And that's just what Mareska had to say. Also, there was a update I done about um selection. Um, does Mareska have a tough decision to make in terms of selection of midfield? Romeo Lavia didn't participate for Belgium in their in any of their international games during the international break. 
Moises Caicedo, he participated in Colombia in the Colombia vs. Ecuador match, and Enzo Fernandez participated in both Argentina's international games. So personally speaking, um I think they'll be fine. They did arrive at Cobham yesterday, as you can see. These guys are already had, they have been training. And I don't really see why there has to be so much of a fuss. Maybe it's because it's the twelve thirty game. But this is just how all the international breaks have always gone, especially with Caicedo and Enzo here. They always arrive back the latest because their games are always the latest. And they have to travel back from halfway across the world in South America. So for me, they've done these things so many different times. They are young players, so they should be ready to go. And if Romeo Lavio is a concern because he did come off with an injury in the Arsenal match, then... That's fine. Just leave him on the bench. But at least he isn't injured and he won't be missing tomorrow's game. Just going to be interesting to see who he start. But I don't necessarily think that he will. But yeah, man. That's just obviously some team news and my thoughts on the team news for both teams. And now let's head over to some match facts for this game. And these are the match facts for the Leicester in the Premier League against Chelsea. So... Leicester have not won against Chelsea since January 2021. And funny enough, that was Frank Lampard's last game in charge back then before we got Thomas Tuchel. Phew, that was a jarring match. But um, yeah, that's that stat or match fact. Chelsea have lost just one of their last seven Premier League games against Leicester. That's brilliant. Leicester have only won four times in Premier League history against Chelsea. That's very favourable very favorable for us. And Jamie Vardy has three goals and two assists against Chelsea in 17 Premier League appearances. And this is a guy who scores enough goals for Leicester, but he's only ever scored three goals in 17 appearances in the Premier League. So I like our chances. And this isn't going to be a Jamie Vardy that, we, that we've seen in previous Premier League seasons because he's much older. He's still a menace. He can still get him behind and can cause some trouble and with our defense i wouldn't be surprised if we do concede because he is um one of the best premier league strikers that we've ever seen and a former premier league winner so we'll have to wait and see but i don't necessarily think that he will start so that'll be calm for us but yeah man that's just my thoughts and opinions on the match facts for the leicester for the leicester side of things now it's the chelsea side of things and look at this so chelsea have won just one of their last seven Premier League matches immediately following an international break. And that was also earlier this season where we beat Bournemouth 1 0 after the international break. But we haven't, but when it comes to international breaks and our games after it, we generally don't do well, as you can see from there. So tomorrow we must be Leicester. They're not even at full strength, and we are near enough full strength. So there's no excuse. We have to win this match because that's just going to be even more spirited for us. And the second fact is Chelsea have scored more goals and won more games away from home in the Premier League so far this season. We have scored 12 goals away from home and we have three wins away from home. More than what we have at home, even though we've only won two games. It's only one game difference, but it's still... A, a, a still a change and the 12 goals scored have to big that up because we've been doing a very good away from home rather than at home but yeah man that's just the second match fact and now the third match fact which I have now posted for the last three different times I've done these match facts and it's this Cole Palmer has 29 Premier League goals for Chelsea he would become the first player in Chelsea's Premier League history to score 30 goals before turning 23. And I've all the last games that I've done this for, I've done this for Man United and Arsenal. To do it against Leicester, it will be more, more easier to do it and more likely, in my opinion, which is why I've left it here because this is going to happen. Cole Palmer hasn't got any goals or assists in his last two games and he very rarely goes three games without goal involvement. And playing against a newly promoted side who we are expected to beat I do reckon that he will score or get an assist, but hopefully he does score and can break this record because it's only a matter of time before he does it. Also, Esmeralda is going to be playing against his old team. This is a team 
that he won the championship with last season and got them promoted to the Premier League. But now he is the Chelsea manager. There wasn't many Leicester people that really liked how he left. But if we're going to be honest, Chelsea, to leave Leicester to go to Chelsea, come on, man, it's a no-brainer. People can't be having hard feelings about this just realistically because it's just the bigger challenge. Even people will be saying that oh, um, Nebraska cancelled a US tour with Leicester but took one with Chelsea. Like, it's two different clubs. It's two different clubs. So I don't really think that that's anything too major. And I don't think Leicester fans should feel any hatred to Maresco, but we have to just wait and see. They still have bad feelings for guys like Wesley Fofano, who left them as well to come to Chelsea. So let's just wait and see on what direction is like at the King Power Stadium tomorrow. This will be the first time Maresca has gone back to Leicester since leaving them in the summer. So, yeah, man, let's just wait and see what that is going to be like. But now... Let's hold, head over to the head-to-head -head stats. And this is Chelsea versus Leicester's head-to-head. -head. So Leicester have won 28 matches in their entire history versus Chelsea. And we have won 62 times against Leicester. In our last three games, we beat them 4-2 last season in the FA Cup. When Maresco was the manager, beat them 4-2. We did blow a two-goal lead, but we got the job done in the end. And before that, we beat them 3-1 in our last Premier League match against them before they got relegated. And we beat them 2-1 before that. So we have a very good positive record against Leicester. And tomorrow, it should be the same thing. We should definitely be getting the three points and be scoring a couple of goals because Leicester defensively are not one of the best teams. So, yeah, man. That's the last three games. And form guide going into this game. Leicester have won two of the out of their five pre they they have won two of their last five Premier League games while we have won once but we've drawn three times and lost once they have one more L compared to us and we have one less we have two extra draws compared to them so hopefully tomorrow we can go back on a win streak because we haven't won since Newcastle but we haven't lost in our last three. So that's a current unbeaten streak of three. But we must get, we must start um, a Premier League run. We must start winning games consecutively. Because for us to get top four this season, we're going to need to be able to go on a four to five game win streak. And I'm, and I'm confident and I'm sure that we've won three games in a row already in the Premier League. But we must do it at least in a couple more times. And go on at least a five game win streak because if we're trying to get top four trying to make sure that we are on course to be in the top four at the end of the season we must go on a five game win streak and to look at the fixtures that we have coming up we basically play a lot of the teams that are in the bottom half Bar, Aston Villa and Tottenham so this is going to be this has to be a must win game it has to be the start of, an, of a win streak for Chelsea because it's going to be the easiest fixtures that we have compared to the last 10 fixtures that we had. So I just hope that we get the job done. Please, Chelsea, please get the job done. But yeah, man, that's obviously some head-to-head -head facts. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions. But now it's time to talk about my predicted XI for this game. And it goes like this. So Robert Sanchez in goal. Right back. Malo Gusto, centre-backs, Wesley Fofano, and Levi Colwell, left-back, Mark Kukureo, CDMs, I'm going to go with Moises Caicedo, and Enzo Fernandez. On the left, I'm going to go with Pedro Neto. On the right, I'm going to go with Noni Madweki. Cam, I'm going to go with Cole Palmer. And striker, I'm going to go with Nicholas Jackson. That is my predicted XI for the game tomorrow. And I'm very happy with it. I know people are going to be saying that Noni should get dropped. But, hey man, he gets another chance. Because he has been doing well. He has been doing well. Even though he hasn't scored a goal since the Nottingham Forest match. But we have to give him another chance, man. Give him another chance before... 
happy start Sancho. But if Sancho does start, I'm not going to be upset or anything about it because I trust my wrestler and what he's been doing with this team. So I'm going to trust that. And But that is my predicted excite. You guys let me know your thoughts on that down below. But now it's time for my score prediction for this game. And... Ah, my score prediction for this match. I'm going to go with a 3-1 Chelsea win. Our defence is always suspect. And with guys like Robert Sanchez and goal, we're always one mistake away from conceding the goal. I really hope that we can keep a clean sheet. But I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Because Leicester are at home. And, hey man, 12-30 kickoff, we, we don't really do well. But let's just wait and see on how it goes. Because attacking-wise... I reckon we will score a lot of goals. But defensively, can we keep them out? That's what I want. If we can get a clean sheet, that would be brilliant away from home. But phew, we're going to have to just wait and see, man. But yeah, man, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions. Down below, my score prediction, my predicted XI, as well as the match preview. Thank you for your support. Make sure to check out the watch long that will be coming tomorrow. And yeah, man, just have an enjoyable Friday, my people, them. I will see you later. And as always, come on Chelsea, come on Chelsea. In a bit, my people, damn.